everyone, it's Cheryl and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my special guest. Hey, hey everybody. My teenage son, TJ. And today we're going to be giving um, another Austrian recipe a go. Um, some of the Austrian recipes that you see may be uh, a little different, but this is what I grew up eating and uh, knowing and learning how to cook. So today's bread dumplings, let's give it a go. Okay, so the ingredients that you need are... Eggs. Bread, flour, salt, pepper, and the last thing is milk. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is grab your loaf of bread, and it does seem like a lot of bread, but really it's it's not. And all you want to do is break it up into little pieces. Okay, so all you want to do next is add a little bit of salt and you want to do this with the whole loaf of bread. A little bit of pepper. I don't measure unless I have to. A little bit of flour. One egg only. and a little bit of milk. Now, wash your hands. And get all grubby. What you want to do is you want to mix all this together with your hands and then you want to make them into small little round balls. Yeah, it looks like soggy bread, but the end <laughs> result will actually surprise you. If it's still a bit tough, add a bit more milk. <sighs> Mush them all up, try and get it as mushy and small as you can. Alright, that's what it should look like. You need to do that with all of this. When it's done, I'll come back to you. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now that it's done, and you know what I should have done? I should have boiled the water while I was doing everything. But no! That didn't happen, did it? So you want to fill this up and you want to bring it to the boil. Okay, so now that the water is boiling, what you want to do is, is you want to grab some tongs and you want to put, oh, I don't know, maybe four in so they have a bit of space. Let them boil for about 10 minutes. So I've put all of mine in there because I have a big enough pot to do so. So it really depends on how big your pot is that you're using. Sometimes it is better to um, do them in batches. So four at a time. Okay, so they look really good. Now that they're boiled, what you want to do is you want to grab one of these handy dandy utensils. Grab each one out like that. Pop it on a plate. Let them rest to room temperature. So now that they're at room temperature, what you want to do is, is you want to get some oil in a pan, let it get hot, and then all you want to do is chop them up, 
as such. Do this with as many as you think you want to have. And you get another one and then you just do it again. And to that you want to add about, that's about a, a whole frying pan full, you want to add about four eggs and cook them up. Add some salt to taste. That is it. Bread dumplings with nice crispy egg mixed right in there. Well, I mean, you know what that means, right? That is my childhood right there. Mmm. So good. So I'm going to go and devour that. And um, hopefully you all enjoyed this little cooking video. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys again sometime soon. Bye.